12, and then you've got some good looks, didn't you? No, we got some really good looks. Uh, the problem is, you know, I, you have to play pretty much a, a not not a perfect game, but real close on the defensive end of the floor, and that that that's what killed us. We we did a great job the first 10 minutes at the offensive end, but then we just had absolute breakdowns. Even though we kept scoring, they're hitting threes by by their best three point shooter that are wide open. We lost him in transition, and even, even though we're up four at times and up six, it, we could have been up 12, but we just kept trading baskets with them, and you, you can't do that. You know, I mean, they're, they're too good of an offensive team, and that's something we talked about uh, this week, was you've got to make them make contested shots. And unfortunately there in the first 10 minutes, we gave them a lot of uncontested shots, which that they make. Like you got some good stops, and then once you got the stop, they got the rebound. That happened quite. Yeah, a bit. quite a bit. I mean, I think we give up 19 offensive rebounds. Uh, you know, we're down 12 at the half, and they had 12 uh, second chance points at the half. You know, I, I think we ended up giving them what uh, 15 uh, set of second chance points or 18. What's that say, guys? 15, 15. 15. So in the second half, they got some offensive rebounds, but did not convert. You know, if you're going to, if you're going to give them up, you, you can't allow them to score. We got some really good stops, and then just could not come up with a rebound. And this is a team that we had talked about. When a shot goes up, you got to put a body on somebody. Everybody does, because they team a rebound in, a, a, at the offensive end. You wanted the atmosphere, you wanted the crowd, and that was great. But you got a pretty good one. Yeah, it, it was great. I mean, the fans were great. We really appreciate everybody that, that came out today. Um, you know, unfortunately, we didn't put together a 40-minute game, and that, that's what you have to do with, with, with this team. Uh, you know, I thought we, we did a great job that first 10 minutes of spreading them out, driving it. If it, if it what, what, was, wasn't there, we kicked or, you know, drove it out and passed and drove, drove it again. You know, their team, they, they don't foul a bunch. So when, when you drive on them, they're, they're going to have to help. So when the help comes, you and you can't try to force up shots in the paint because they're so big. But then what you got to do is kick to the open player. And, and we missed several open t t teammates on the drive, which we'll show them in film. Because against them, you're not going to get a bunch of baskets in the paint. I mean, it, it is what it is. I mean, so you're going to have to be able to make 8 to 15-foot to jumpers for, for your post players and your guards are going to ha ha have to knock down open threes. Gino said that if the NCAA sends him back here and doesn't give you a one seed, they've spent time in the bourbon bar. Uh, do you feel like you still deserve a one seed? Well, uh, you know, I I'm not so much concerned about the one seed. I mean, we uh, need to do our job. We're going to ha ha have to get to the conference championship and, ho and hopefully, you know, beat them. Uh, but it's 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 going to come down to whatever the NCAA decides. I mean, you know, as co as coaches, years ago, I think we're the ones that voted on the uh, geography over the true seeding in, in in the NCAA tournament. But when when you look at it, I mean, I know my geography's okay, but I, I don't think people are going to drive from stores to Louisville <laughs> instead of going from stores to Lincoln. I mean, if you're trying to make it a true NCAA tournament field in, in a true bracket, which is what I, I'm hoping our game can get to, because that's what it should it, 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 it should be. You know, because I, I think we're still fighting for a, 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 a one seed. But if we don't, I think I think we're all awfully high too. So should, would UConn come here? I, you know, who knows? But if if the NCAA sticks with you know what has, has been done in the past, then there's a good chance that, that they'll come here. And you know, hey, if we've got to hopefully play them a, a fourth time to, to go to a Final Four, I'd rather play them here. But at the same time, you know, if you're trying to make it a true tournament, they they should be going going to Lincoln. What do they do to effectively limit Shoney? Well, they 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 guard her. I mean, uh, Mariah Jefferson does a great job. Uh, you know, she she's there on the catch. She she's trying to sit there and, and get up in her. Uh, I thought Shoney got some good looks, especially in the first half. You know, they went zone. We uh, ran ran a play for it. She she got a great look that she 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 normally knocks down. Uh, and then we're going to continue to work on on going off ball screens. You know, then try try trying to make that read because they're going to du uh, double her off ball screens.
which is what I do. And then you have to make sure everybody else is ready to knock down an open shot because it's very seldom that you're going to be able to get the pass back and drive in for a layup because they're so long, they're, 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 they're going to contest and block a lot in the paint. Chuck, you're talking there about Shody, the, the, the basketball player. And you see kind of the, the, that crowd that's out there tonight, so many Native American fans out there. How much has the Shoney experience just been about more than basketball? Well, I, you know, I, 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 I'm not sure she had anticipated that it would get to the to this point. Uh, you know, I know our run last year in the NCAA tournament had a big impact. Uh, her and Jude were, were, on, were on the speaking circuit all, all last summer going from reservation to a reservation, speaking and sharing their story and, you know, giving a lot of hope to, to kids. And, uh, you know, th this entire year, I've, I've, I've tried to tell people, I mean, we play at uh, Oklahoma and we probably got close to 2,000 natives that come and watch that game. Uh, we played at Memphis the, uh, uh, the other day and I think set the, their attendance uh, record since they re renovated their arena, and three three fourths of them were were natives, you know every place we go, there's a big following for them, and it's you know it's what we're doing now. It's just not the ba the uh, basketball part of it. It's signing autographs afterwards. Our our entire team does a great job of making sure they they give back. Do you think there are other Shoney Shimmels, Jude Shimmels out there in the Native American population? Sure, of course. Oh yeah, there uh, there are some some good basketball players. And at the same time, you know, Shoney's fighting to, to 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 be one of the top ten players in the country to be an All American. So I, you know, is there another All American out there? Possibly, but that 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 that, that that's not like they come a dime a dozen. Coach, when you play Connecticut, who does familiarity favor? I, I don't think it favors either side. I mean, I think we both have a good feel for uh, what each player can do, what the uh, per, uh, personnel can do. Uh, so I think it's pretty much an even swap on that. Because I just think, you know, you go into the postseason, you don't want to see a team that's familiar with you that doesn't know what you do, like, say, for Baylor, for example, like last year. But I'm just wondering, like, that they know what you do. You know what they're going to do. Who is there someone that it favors in a way? I, you know what? I really don't think it does. Okay. I mean, you know, because we, we know exactly what each one of their players does and does well. Uh, and even when you get in the NCAA tournament, there I, we have film on every single opponent, every game they play. I mean, I, I'm sure Kim knew that Antonita Slaughter was a three-point shooter <laughs> last year. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, she was only our second-best three-point shooter on the season. So, I, well, I understand, but I mean, it's not a secret. We all know what each each kid can do. Now, is it a, a benefit to actually see him in person? Yes, but I, I I don't think it benefits either one of us one more than the uh, other on all on that standpoint. You got it. Coming into tonight's game, the top three teams in the country are all old Big East teams, eighty-two and two combined record. Yeah. What's that say about? I'm, no, we're looking backwards, but what's that say about the strength of that league when you had UConn, Notre Dame, Louisville? I mean, it, I mean, it's game. you know, it's uh, I, th I think we showed it uh, last year when three of the four in the fi uh, final four from the uh, Big East. Uh, you know, it was a great league, uh, a competitive league from top to bottom. You've got DePaul and St. John's and West Virginia, Mar Marquette. I mean, you knew every night. You had to come to play, or there was a chance that you that that, that you, you you could get beat. So I mean, it, it says a lot about about the old league. I mean, that's for sure. It would be tempting as a coach to, to limit this autograph stuff to thirty minutes, an hour. What what made you say to to live? Well, if we if we've got fans that are coming from all, all over, and that that's what they want. I mean, that that's our job. Uh, it's not just to to play a basketball game. We need to to, to get back to people. So I, I, I know our players. I mean, I told them plan plan to be here till uh, uh, midnight, you know, and that's what we'll do. We'll we'll sign until the last one goes through, and and, and that's what you're supposed to do. And I mean, you just don't talk about the, the three teams there, but don't don't forget West Virginia, who's co Big Twelve champs right now. Well, they've got one 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 game left to play. If they win, they'll most likely be co uh, Big Twelve champs. So you've got. So some great teams that were in, in the old Big East.
the ladies were extremely confident at, at here and talking about we're going to get them at some point. You feel the same way? Yeah, I mean, if you don't, there's no sense to play. But in order for us to do that, we've got to, to, to buy into to playing that almost perfect game. At the defensive end, I, I, the offensive end, you know, we held them to 25 points in the, the second half, which might be a season low for them in a half. You know, I'm not sure. But then we give up 43, it was, I think, in the first half. And how many of those, and I'll go back and watch it, were wide-open shots that we didn't pick, pick somebody up in transition? I mean, that, that, that's what you can't do. You can't do that. They defend well because of their size. I mean, they, they do a great job. Their guards do a very nice job. You give them open looks because you lose somebody, you're going to have problems because there's going to be plays. Brianna Stewart stepped back. She hit the shot clock running out. I don't care who's guarding her. I mean, that's an unbelievable shot. So you're, you're going to give those up. The, the hook shot she makes in the paint, I mean, what, what can you do? But the wide open threes that we gave up in transition are, are ones you can't allow to have happen. Anything else for Coach? Thank you, everybody.